welcome you to Riverdale. We are inside in the weight room. It's raining outside. We've had a pretty good warm up series, but today the rain coming and we're talking with the Falcons coming off that three and five BVC campaign. Three wins on the season and second year coach Mark Fry sits down with us first. Coach, how's camp going so far? It's going great. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. What, what, what is this second year? So you kind of have an idea probably for your coaching philosophy, some of the things you, you liked about camp last year, some you didn't. How have you adjusted in your second year? Uh, well, with the new rules, we've really, you know, taken into consideration safety as well as the heat and all that. And uh, we've really adapted to keep our numbers strong. Uh, we definitely increased our numbers last year, but we want to keep bodies healthy. So we've really uh, changed a few things there to make it better for us. What's been a way that you've gotten those numbers up? Uh, just recruiting within ourselves. Our guys, you know, get your friends out. Uh, also in the summer, we did some seven on sevens. We told guys, hey, just come play seven on seven. If you like it, come out for the team, stick it out. If you don't like it, we'll hang your helmet up and call it a day. Did you get a lot of guys try it and not uh, like it or try it and stay? Mostly stayed. Well, mostly good. stayed, yeah. We went from 27 <laughs> last year to about 46 right now. How does football, you're from Indiana, went to Hanover, coached a little bit at Ohio Northern as well. How, how's the Indiana, the southern Indiana feel compared to right here in northwest Ohio? Uh, in Indiana, the rules are a little more lax. They got a lot of different things going on over there. You can actually scrimmage 11 on 11 in the summer. Oh, so wow. over here, that's the transition. You go only have four man practices in the off season. And then, you know, coming into the summer, you can do helmet stuff. So, and you only get 10 days. <laughs> so that was the adjustment for me coming over here. But for the most part, it was a pretty easy adjustment. Three wins to finish off last year. The thrilling one point victory over Corey Ross and amongst those. How did the end of your season help give you momentum into the off season? Uh, you know, we came into that, we got down into 0-7, and, and our guys obviously were frustrated, and we said, you know, here's enough's enough, and, you know, we ought to step up and win these last three games. Uh, we challenged and we said that, you know, attendance would be the thing that made us. If we could get everybody there every single day for 21 days, we'd win these games. Guys did it, hmm. came out with some victories there, and uh, we built on that this offseason. Have you seen the attendance? Uh, stay consistent then? Yes, offense has been strong. I mean, not offense. Our, our attendance has been Thinking strong. Thinking offense. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm ready to go. Attendance has been great all off season and ready to go for this summer here. Uh, we got a couple guys who missed for obviously family reasons and whatnot, but for the most part, we've been here. X's and O's, how's the offense, how's the defense? Similar concepts as last year? Very similar. You know, we're going to continue to use our multiple formations, use our speed that we have on the edge uh, to gain an advantage. But defensively, Exactly the same. Obviously, we're going to tackle a little bit better than last year, but <laughs> that's what we're working on now. Has that been a, a focus here in the fall? Oh, yeah. Last year, too many yards off of broken tackles. It, uh, you talked about the rules earlier, and only what, a couple hours a week or whatever, mm -hmm. but does, does that hurt you because you're trying to teach tackling? You want to get the repetitions, not necessarily the, you know, the head stuff, but just to do it right. Uh, you know, I think there's other ways to teach tackling without contact. And I think we like to focus on those and make sure that we're doing those right as well. Uh, I, we've always taken two a day on, one day off, you mm -hmm. know, or one a day, two a day, one a day, two a day, like the college level. And uh, we felt like that kept our numbers fresh and healthy and away from head injuries. So we're kind of used to this approach already, uh, but I know other schools are upset. <laughs> uh, ha having Coach Dean Paul right down the road, the ONU guys that you worked with, how, how much did you draw on them for insight during the season? Oh, we went over, did their seven on seven, and we were there twice this summer, actually. They're a good help. I call on them whenever I can and ask for extra little tips and insight tricks. <laughs> and you've gotten some? Oh, uh, we have in the past. We haven't been over there this summer yet, okay. so we'll see. What do you look for in these scrimmages upcoming uh, before the, the season? Are you, are you looking just to see how your team is matching up head to head, or is it, you know, other things? Well, you know, we lost 20, uh, not 22, we lost uh, 13 seniors. And so we got a lot of juniors, almost like 20 guys that are juniors and sophomores that have had experience, but not a lot. So we're looking for those guys to step up and uh, fill these roles here in the next two scrimmages and see who wants to play and who doesn't. I heard you talking to practice and said the coaches were talking about who starters are, and we want. You guys that haven't made those starters to prove us wrong. Is there a lot of adjustment between the first scrimmage and the second scrimmage as to who might be starting, who might be stepping into that role, and then the second scrimmage and, yeah. you know, the first Well, game? we'd like to hope not, that there's not a lot <laughs> you of adjustment. Good choices. We hope that we were <laughs> correct in our first assessment. Yeah. Uh, we had our inner squad Saturday. We mixed the teams up pretty balanced. So we had young guys and old guys on the teams. And a lot of guys did do successful things. Uh, we just need to see a couple more things out of our older guys who aren't used to being starters. 
Tell us about your coaching staff. Uh, certainly some experience there. Right. Uh, coaching staff's great. We're all returning mm -hmm. from last year. Uh, we even picked up another guy who was a volunteer last year as a full-time. And so we're very grateful to have all their knowledge. And uh, Coach Bruno, obviously, he's won a state title, so it's good to have him on staff. And we got a lot of hungry young coaches. I think our average age, if you don't count Coach Bruno, is probably about 26. <laughs> so we're excited about it, and we're ready to get after it. What kinds of things does Coach Bruno do during practice that, or, or even in the coaches' meeting that you just say, wow, that's, that's, that's some good insight there? Right. Well, in practice, he's kind of quiet. He just kind of takes mental notes and then comes in and tells us what was wrong in the meeting room. <laughs> uh, but every once in a while, if you get him fired up, he'll yell out a couple things. So it's pretty good. What is the strength of this football team right now? Or are you still trying to find that? Uh, speed. Okay. This is the first year that I can successfully say that we can run the ball and throw the ball pretty quickly. And our, our goal is going to be to try to outrun teams. We're not the biggest. We'll admit it. You'll see it in our courier picture. Uh, <laughs> we're not very big, but we can run the ball this year. How about the BVC this year? Certainly uh, some good players have graduated and right. moved on. How do you see the league right now? Uh, obviously, a lot of teams lost great players, but I think this is just a strong league in general. Next guys are ready to go mm -hmm. on every team. And I don't think it's going to be just a slappy league by any means. I think everyone's going to put up a fight, even the smaller schools. Speaking of fight, you got Carey in the opener this year. Right. Uh, a bigger school than yourselves. You're telling the guys, 50, 55, 60 guys out for them. What do you expect out of the Blue Devils? Uh, you know, they're a hard fighting team. We saw that, obviously, last year and the last year before that. Pretty bad scores for us. Our guys have had this on the calendar since November, mm -hmm. and uh, they've been ready for this, and I think they're going to be ready to go. Is that the rivalry game? Is it Arlington? Are there multiple rivalries for you guys? I would say uh, Arlington's still probably the bigger of the rivalry just because of the history of schools and yeah. whatnot. But I know our guys are geared up for carry, and they're geared up for us, so it should still be a rivalry game. Once you get to the middle of camp, is there kind of that grind where, where you're just trying to push the guys ahead to the scrimmage, and then once you play the first scrimmage, you're just trying to – when does new life come in, I guess, is my question. Right. There's always a slight grind. I mean, even today we had a couple starters resting a little bit just because the inner squad took a couple beatings on them. But, uh, you know, I think our guys will de uh, develop to that endurance level that we need to be successful, and we'll see that ready to go next Saturday. Riverdale Falcons getting ready for scrimmages and then carry in the opener that first weekend of the season. When we return, Matt Finkel stops by with some of the players. You're watching the warm-up from Riverdale in the Bulls. Welcome back to the warm-up from Riverdale High School. We've got three Falcon players joining me, ready to talk about the upcoming season. Junior Evan McKee to my right, running back, linebacker. Tristan Davis is in the middle, also a junior, plays quarterback and cornerback. And on the end, it's senior Austin Miller, running back, linebacker. Evan, let's start with you. Last season, finished strong, three straight wins. How does that help you build momentum for this year? Uh, well, we knew what it was like to win. We knew that feeling. We just wanted to carry that through the offseason, keep working to get that, those wins back and more wins this year. Tristan, was there a sense of frustration when you started 0-7 and, and then getting that first W must have felt good? Yeah, it was amazing. We all knew that we could do it from the beginning of the season and just things clicked after then. Austin, how's training camp going so far, finishing up in the rain out there? Uh, it's going really good. Everyone's working hard and getting their assignments and getting ready for the season. Evan, what has impressed you so far in training camp? I know it's a big junior class and a smaller senior class, so are you taking on a leadership role? Yeah, I think us three are the main leaders, and what's really impressed me is our numbers. we got a lot of guys out, a lot different than having 25 last year. It's a lot better pace, I think. Yeah, Tristan, how does that change practice when basically you're doubling your numbers from the year before? Well, we injuries are a big part last year. A lot of people were injured. We'd have to do half line. Now we have enough people. Our defense and offense are getting real looks now. Austin, Coach seemed like he was impressed with the offense so far, running and passing. What have you seen in camp, and what makes you excited about this coming season? Uh, I've seen the line really stepping up and doing their jobs and everyone figuring out their roles and the younger guys on defense giving the offense a good look so we can get better. Year to you for Coach Fry. Evan, what have you seen out of him? Is everybody more familiar with each other and what he's trying to implement? Yeah, I think last year we were just getting used to him, getting used to his styles and his philosophies, but this year we really understand what he's doing and I think we know what he's doing more this year, and I think we're going to do it good. A couple of scrimmages coming up for you, Tristan. Uh, got a try with Perry and St. Wendelin and then at Horton Northern before the opener. What are you looking forward to about the scrimmages? 
I just think that we all need to come together more as a team, and we all know that we can do it. So I just looking forward to starting the season off strong. Austin, the opener against Kerry at home, that should be a good environment here. What does it mean to you to play at home, and you must be excited to take the field week one? Yeah, it's exciting to have a rivalry game to open the season for my senior year, and I hope we come out strong and really show everybody what we've been working at all off season. So, Evan, did you spend a lot of time in here over the summer or leading up to camp? Yeah, I mean, since last end of football season, had a lot of guys in here working to get better, working to get more wins this year. Tristan, did the juniors and seniors come together at the end of last year? I know you guys can't get together as an organized group except for the 10 days in the summer, but on your own, was there some leadership going on? Yeah, we all hung out. We tried to keep everybody as a team. We don't like single players out. Austin, some scheduling oddities this year in, in that you have six home games and five of the first six games are at home. Do you think that gives you an advantage? Yeah, I think that will give us a little bit of an edge playing at home and having the crowd behind us and having that uh, home. like An environment must yeah. be fun, yeah. Yep. Evan, what do you think the strengths of this year's team are? Oh, uh, We're a lot faster this year, and we're I think we know what we're doing more this year. Our line's really stepping up this year. And Tristan, as the quarterback, you're going to lead the offense. What are some of the ways that you've been able to do that in camp? And, and did you play quarterback last year? No. Okay, so uh, what, what are some of the differences for you? Well, it's a big change going from wide receiver to quarterback, but I just like to keep my offense up top. I mean, we make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Keep it up. Let's go again. Let's keep going. Try it again. Win. Austin, what have you seen out of Tristan in the quarterback position so far? I've seen him really step it up and fill the position nicely, and he's really getting his reads down, and I look forward to seeing what he can do this year. Playing in the BBC will be competitive again, as it always is. What do you have to do week in and week out to prepare for the league games? Oh, uh, well, we've got to have all our guys here, and we've got to keep working hard because every team in the BBC is good. There's no easy teams and such, so we just got to keep working. You got three league wins last year. Is there a game you're looking forward to, Tristan? First game. First. That's, that's where it all starts. That's a professional answer. What about for you, Austin? You have a, a rival. You've, you know, four years here at Riverdale. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Cary. That's a big game for us and Arlington, too. So. All right, we'll close with this. What scenario you guys want to improve on, either personally or for the team, before you take the field for real? Evan, we'll start with you. Uh, I feel like last year, like third to fourth quarter, we'd wear down a lot. So I just want to be more... Um, energized this year throughout the whole game and play strong the whole game. What about for you, Tristan? Uh, when other teams score on us or we make bad play, I want us to keep our heads up and keep fighting in the games. And Austin? Uh, I feel like the beginning of the game, we always kind of come out slow and fall behind. And I think we need to pick it up in the beginning of this year and start out strong. Well, best of luck. Thanks for letting us come out and chat with you guys. Riverdale gets started week one at home against Cary. That's going to do it for this edition of the warm-up. We want to thank all of our guests. For Annie Lynch, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN.